What's up, Mane? Growers. Jacob back here with another video coming to you guys today to talk about Navy Federal. And this is something that could be helpful to a lot of you, especially if you're new to Navy Federal, because this is a lot of stuff that I have learned. Uh, trial and error, talking to reps, stuff I've learned on my own, um, stuff I, you know, had to kind of learn the hard way and that kind of thing. So I want to share a lot of that with you guys today to help you out, especially if you're someone who's new to Navy Federal, because, you know, they are the biggest and most popular credit union in the world. So guys, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. I got to give a shout out to everybody who's been helping the channel grow like crazy. Man, you guys have been awesome. Awesome, dude. I am enjoying the growth on this channel. It's been a lot of grind, lots of videos you, as you see me right here, uh, filming, recording, learning, trying different things. Um, sometimes they work out for me well, sometimes they don't work out for me well, and I'll just share them with you guys here so you guys can hear from the good, the bad, and uh, you know everything in between, right? So thank you for everyone who's been subscribed to this channel. You guys are helping this channel grow a whole hell of a lot, and uh, I appreciate you. I really, really do. So thank you for being here. Go ahead and subscribe and let's jump into this talking about Navy Federal, okay? So I want to talk about some things with Navy Federal that um, I'm going to title this probably something like, you know, things that like Navy Federal wishes you knew. Because some of these things would not only make life easier for us, the customers of Navy Federal, but also I think easier for um, their staff and, and the uh, reps they have. So you could save yourself some time and save yourself some hassle and some headache if you use some of these things that sometimes Navy Federal makes you aware of them or you can find them on the site. But um, some of these things we're gonna talk about, they're just not as well known as far as their operation or options they have and things like that. So, you know, as we jump into this, I'll share with you uh, some of these things that I think really can help you out. Now, the first thing I'll talk about with Navy Federal that they wish you knew uh, was to use the pre-qualification tool before applying for a credit card, okay? Um, I think this is big because, um, you know, there's so many videos online of people who are saying they use the late night hack, right? And I've talked here about the late night hack and how it did not work for me. Because um, essentially what people do is they apply during the late hours, you know, like midnight, 1 a.m., that kind of thing. And that way, you know, when they apply for a credit card online with Navy Federal, it's supposed to just be an algorithm that gives them a better chance of getting approved and also gives them a better chance of getting a high limit. So you see videos of people saying they got approved for 10, 15, 20, 25, $30,000 credit limit. Um, and a lot of times they'll say they only had like average credit. They didn't have like the greatest credit score. Okay, that didn't work for me when I did it for the flagship card. Now maybe it's because it was the flagship card, who knows. But you see people, videos of people doing that, so I think a lot of people might get the, um, uh, what's the say? I'll say false notion, that's the term I'm looking, that's maybe not the term I'm looking for, but they'll get a false uh, sense, there we go, they'll get a false idea of how, you know, thinking maybe that they're gonna get the same results as that, you know, the people they see online in the video saying, oh, I got this limit, I got this limit. Um, your mileage may vary, the results may vary. Like I said, that hack did not work well for me. So, you know, people might jump in and start applying for credit cards they really don't maybe have a great chance of getting approved for. So use that pre-qualification tool because, you know, when that um, hard pull hits on TransUnion, you know, if you're gonna get a hard inquiry, you obviously wanna try to do what you can to get approved for a credit card if you have to use a hard inquiry. So when Navy Federal pulls your TransUnion, you wanna give yourself the best chance of getting approved for a card. So it's best that you use that pre-qualification tool. Now, just because you pre-qualify for a card with that tool does not mean you're guaranteed to get actually approved for it when you do apply, but it just gives you a good idea. Now, the second thing we'll talk about that um, Navy Federal wishes you knew was that if your credit is really horrible, it's really bad, you know, some people do like to do the end rewards card, um, which you can, you can apply for that, but if your credit, if you've had enough issues, enough bad credit issues in the past, uh, they can deny you for that card, it's possible. If you're brand new to credit, they probably won't deny you for it. But if your credit's really bad, then one of the things you can do with Navy Federal is get a pledge loan or two or three. You can get multiple pledge loans with Navy Federal um, since it's not a hard pull. Similar concept to a um, secured credit card where you have to put your own money down for it, except this time you're paying off a loan. So you can actually, you know, apply for a pledge loan, take some of your cash. I think the minimum is 250. I think that's the smallest loan, 250, somewhere around there. Um, so take a few hundred dollars of your own cash, you know, take out a loan, uh, do go through the process. Maybe you get a few months of payments under your belt and, you know, try to help improve your credit situation. And then you can also go apply. Then you can apply for a credit card with Navy Federal because you've got some payments under your belt. Navy Federal has seen that you're being responsible with handling money. Obviously, this is going to vary from person to person depending on your circumstances. But that pledge loan can be a nice tool to have, um, you know, to have in your back pocket in case you really do need some help with building your credit or repairing your credit or something like that. And that can really help you with Navy Federal with getting a better chance of getting approved for their credit cards. Now, the third thing we'll talk about with Navy Federal, and this is one that a rep told me directly, and actually I thought this was pretty cool, the way she laid this out. Um, they do want to approve you. 
They want to approve you for the credit card. They want to approve you for the loan. They want to approve you for the credit limit increase, right? They want to be able to give you those kinds of things because, I mean, one, that's part of how they make money, right? They give you a credit card and you spend it, right? They make money from that. Um, you know, if they give you a loan, obviously, when you repay it, you make money from that. They give you credit limit increase. Um, that's, you know, they justify that by thinking, okay, well, this person handled their money well. Uh, this person has the income to justify this credit limit increase. If this person spends more on the card, then they make more, right? They make more from those um, transaction fees. You, um, like I said, those credit products. Uh, what they might be giving you, and they also have to... Um, have faith that you know they're obviously going to get paid back. So you need to basically do what you can to help make it easy for them to trust you. It's like it's almost like a relationship, right? It's like dating. It's like like they don't trust you. You have to build up that trust factor, okay? So you know when you go out, maybe federal, make sure you hold the door open. All right, you know you do all the, the formal things, but that's kind of that's kind of a uh, analogy you could draw. Is you have to build up that trust with them. So they want to be able to give you those products, but they have to trust that you're going to be financially responsible enough and that you have the financial ability and discipline uh, to handle those products that they're going to approve you for. So they actually they do want you to have those, but they need to feel comfortable in being able to give you those products. Now, the fourth thing we'll talk about, this is going to be really for people who are like brand new to credit cards. Okay, when you're brand new, you don't know what you don't know. And we all start from somewhere. So don't feel bad if there's stuff you don't know. There's still stuff I don't know. Okay, that's how, that's how the world of credit goes. Um, if you get denied for a credit card from them, you can ask for what's called reconsideration. Now, this is just something people do where they and they, you know pretty much I think any bank or credit union is going to offer this where you just ask them you know to reconsider uh, you to get approved for in this case probably going to be a credit card it could be a loan too but credit card is probably where you hear about it talked about the most um, you can do that to give yourself a second chance of getting approved so that way you know you don't waste your hard inquiry um, you know on getting denied for something which brings me to the fifth thing uh, that we're going to be talking about is that with Navy Federal um, this is something I really wish. They would put this on the website somewhere, make it a little easier because I'm so used to just calling in to speak to the to representatives over the phone for the customer service number. Um, if you do get denied, then you cannot speak with the loan department directly over the phone by calling customer service. So if you want that reconsideration, you know, you want to ask for reconsideration, you cannot just call, speak to a representative, say, hey, can I have reconsideration because I got denied for a You know, and the rep representatives just tell you like whatever little information they have from, from the lending department. They don't have a whole lot of info. So it's kind of frustrating because you can't, you feel like you can't get to the decision maker who denied, you know, to find out why you were either denied for the credit card or the credit limit increase or whatever it was. If you want some more detail, you just feel like you can't get to that person. And that's frustrating. So what you do have to do, um, or so yeah, so customer service, you can't get to them just by calling customer service. You, 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 will, you will not be able to speak to the lending department directly, which brings me to the sixth thing that maybe Federal probably wish you knew, because I said I found this out just by bugging representatives um, and asking them questions, is that if you want to communicate with the lending department, like I said, you can't call them, you can't text them, you can't email them. The only way you can do it is by sending them a message um, online. So online, you have to go into your account, and then you can send a message to them uh, directly from there. And that is it. That is the only way you can communicate with them. That's your best chance uh, for reconsideration. If you're denied for a loan, a credit card, a credit limit increase, something like that. Now, if you are doing reconsideration, uh, one thing a rep had shared with me, and this is helpful, is if you can give some sort of specific reason why you think um, or like what you want to use the money for. Okay. Not even necessarily like why you think you deserve it because your credit score is this, you've had a card for this long and that kind of thing. Um, there's more so what you want to use the money for. So if you get a credit, if you want to apply for the credit card, you can say, Hey, I would like to, um, you know, have a second credit card because I don't want to keep putting so all of my, um, spending on this one credit card. You know, I want to diversify my credit cards a little bit. I want to have a little higher credit limit to reduce my utilization so I can improve my score. Something along those lines is something that you can put in there that's helpful that, you know, you're not going to find that information like on the website. At least I've never seen it. So these are some of the things that, you know, I say like it would make it easier, if it would make it easier uh, if maybe federal was, you know, some of these things are a little bit more known. Like I said, it would be probably easier for the customers and for the representatives. So these are some things, especially representatives, probably wish more people knew when it comes to Navy Federal because some of these things you're not going to learn unless you're just doing trial, trial and error. You're testing stuff out, 
some stuff works, some stuff does, and you're just trying to figure out answers along the way. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have anything to share about it down below in the comment section, please do. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being so awesome. And until next time, keep growing your money.